Greetings. This research project is titled ACE Domains in Depression, Investigating Which Specific Domains Are Associated with Depression in Adulthood. This research was conducted by Dr. Zachary Giano, Campbell Ernst, Kelsey Snyder, Abby Davis, Andrew O'Neill, and Dr. Randolph Hubach. Now, this is Abby Davis speaking to you. I am a first year medical student here at OSU and I will be presenting the introduction and method sections. And after that, my colleague Kelsey Snyder, also a first year medical student, will present the results and the conclusion. ACEs, short for Adverse Childhood Experiences, include a set of eight domains in which a child from the ages of zero to 18 could have experienced in their household. These ACE domains include emotional abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, family interpersonal violence, family mental illness, family substance abuse, parental separation and or divorce, and family incarceration. The literature has shown correlation between ACEs and negative outcomes. These negative outcomes range from physical disease to difficulties in psychosocial well-being to impaired cognitive development. Though research has also shown correlation between ACEs and poor mental health outcomes and specifically depression diagnoses, there has not been much to show which individual ACE could lead to a greater incidence of depression, which leads us to our primary objective, which is to study the frequency of adults with a depression diagnosis across each ACE domain and to find which specific domain are linked to higher odds of receiving a depression diagnosis. To tackle our objective of determining whether a specific ACE domain could contribute to a higher incidence of depression diagnosis in adulthood, we began with the ACEs data that was collected by the CDC's BRFSS, Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance Survey. This is a nationwide survey that is conducted via cellular and landline interviews. The interviews include 11 questions in which adults can answer about their childhoods. These 11 questions are then dichotomized and summed, ending with an ACE score ranging from zero to eight. A higher ACE score would indicate more adverse childhood experiences. For our study, since we are concerned with the specific domains, we have excluded the scores that had a sum of zero, including no ACEs, or eight, indicating having all ACEs. This left us with a sample size of 52,971 adults from 41 different states. Then, the frequency of a depression diagnosis was analyzed within each ACE score and across each ACE domain. Finally, using Impulse version 1.6 programming, we conducted a series of logistic regressions within each ACE score, determining the odds of a depression diagnosis from each domain. Hi, my name is Kelsey Snyder, and I'm gonna walk you through the results and conclusions of our study. Here you can see the graph of our results showing the incidence of depression diagnosis by ACE number, isolating those with a history of sexual abuse or family mental illness. Incidence of depression diagnosis was higher in individuals in each ACE group who had a prior history of sexual abuse or family mental illness. While both family mental illness and sexual abuse were independently associated with increased incidence of depression diagnosis, those with both domains had the highest frequencies of depression diagnosis. If we look at the numbers and in individuals with just one ACE score, the percentage of those with depression diagnosis was 14 to 16%. When isolating for specific domains with an ACE score of one, 23% of those with a history of sexual abuse had been diagnosed with depression and 30% in those with a family history of mental illness. Now, if we compare all individuals with an ACE score between 1 and 7, the percentage of depression diagnosis was 39% for sexual abuse and 42% for family mental illness. And this was a high percentage when compared to other domains, which ranged between 29 and 34%. This slide takes a look at the odds ratios. Our study shows family mental illness has the highest odds ratio of depression diagnosis as those with an ACE score of one were 3.5 times more likely to receive a diagnosis of depression when compared to others with an ACE score of one without a family history of mental illness. 
The second highest odds ratio are those who experience sexual abuse and they are two times more likely to receive a depression diagnosis compared to those without a history of sexual abuse. If we are comparing all ACE scores from one to seven, those with a family history of mental illness were 2.8 times more likely than those without a familial history of mental illness to receive a depression diagnosis. And individuals with a history of sexual abuse were 1.7 times more likely than those who did not experience sexual abuse to be diagnosed with depression. Our results indicate sexual abuse and family mental illness have a higher link to depression as compared to other the other six domains. This can be helpful from a clinical standpoint. Traditionally, an A score cutoff or the total number of adverse childhood experiences has been an indicator for those at risk for depression diagnosis. Our results suggest mental health professionals not only use the ACE numeric score, but also utilize specific domains to identify those with an increased risk of acquiring a depression diagnosis. Identifying those with a history of sexual abuse or family mental illness can be crucial for intervention programs and improved health outcomes. Our reference list was a little too long, so we've included a QR code that you can use to access the complete list of references. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact myself or Abby, and we hope you have a wonderful day.